What do you mean, what do I mean, I don't know? I don't know what my favorite flavor of Gatorade is. Like, give me my Gatorade history, okay? I, I drank it after uh, softball practice two times a summer for eight years as a kid. And then um, I drank the Gatorade orange powder in university as the cheapest per unit hydration solution post hangover. So I wouldn't really trust my, uh, I wouldn't trust my, my taste buds in that situation, though that was consumed under duress. And then I consumed an entire uh, container of Gatorade Arctic Blast light blue powder when I had salmonella and uh, campylobacter. So again, I, I consumed it under duress. I didn't consume it for taste-based reasons. And then since then, I would say like once a month, if I walk uh, our, our daughter outside in the stroller for her nap, I will get thirsty enough to buy like a Gatorade G2 or Gatorade Zero or whatever it's called. And I just, I mean, my, my preference for sport drinks, I got to say that it's like, like white flavor. If I get a popsicle, I'd love it to be white flavor, a freezy. I don't know if you do, if you call them freezies in America, but like uh, an ice pop, I want it to be white flavor, a Powerade, a Gatorade, um, all that stuff. I don't, I don't know what flavor it is. It's like a melange of, of different fruit acids. I'm a big watermelon guy too. Like if I'm getting a, a coconut water or something like that that has flavoring added, I'll take a watermelon. Or can I tell you, you don't see it that much, but you know what hits crazy is um, guava. You got to go to Whole Foods for that. You're not going to find that at your average save on foods. But if you can get like a, a sparkling guava juice or something like that, it goes pretty hard. It goes pretty hard. I'm just, I, I'm probably not the first person to discover it. I'm just saying. Also, I got to hand it to Chibli. We, we bought, we've been buying a lot of fruit because uh, our new daycare, I mean, we're just getting into the swing of things. She, instead of sending our daughter with some fruit every day, she wants us to send her with like a lot of fruit at the start of the week, and then they just divvy it up throughout the course of the week. So we have, right now in the house, we got strawberries, blueberries, mangoes, bananas, oranges. And by the way, oranges fucking go crazy, man. I always forget how much I love an orange. Because every time I'm in the grocery store, I don't, I'm like, I don't want 10 pounds of oranges. Because then I got to peel 10 pounds of oranges. But I've been eating, we bought 10 pounds of oranges. I've been eating 10 pounds of oranges. This shit is fucking cash dude oranges are like uh it's it's organic candy it's crazy now for my wife she likes it when i peel the orange so i peel the oranges for her for me i just cut them into eights and then i'm like <coughs> like i'm like it's a post soccer game in fourth grade or something like that but we've also got Golden kiwis, which are like kiwis, but a little bit sweeter. And I got to say, Chib's crazy for that one. The golden kiwis, delicious. I feel like once a year, I forget that fruit is like insanely tasty. And then I, we get fruit and I eat it and I'm like, holy shit, fruit is amazing. And then like a month later, I'm like, I don't want this damn fruit. And then 11 months later, I'm like, holy shit, have you guys ever eaten an orange? <laughs> It's amazing. You guys, ever, you guys ever heard of an apple? What about nectarines? I don't, I don't like the pitted fruits that much anymore. I hate to say, I, I was team pear for like a long time because I think that pears are an overhated fruit. And then I realized just eating other fruits, I was like, no other fruit is as inconsistent as a pear. Like when you get a good soft pear, it's nice. It makes you feel like a like a, a an English lord in the 15th century. But like so many times you get like a pear that is like too hard and it kind of like hurts your gums and teeth to eat it. 
Or you get a pair that's like way too soft and it's just like eating like your pillow or something like that. But I kind of feel the same way about nectarines. Like if you get a soft nectarine, it's pretty good. But the nectarines that have like the texture of an apple, it's just like, it's not for me, man. I feel like oranges are like, or, not the only difference in orange, they almost all taste the same. You just get differences in peel. Some of them have an easier peel. Some of them have a harder peel. But the, the inside of the orange is, is pretty consistent. The pears are like, it's a, it's a D100. You know what's crazy? I was thinking about this yesterday. Movie remakes tend to be really, really bad. And game remakes tend to be really, really good. There's an interesting difference in the medium, right? Not always, but often. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 4... It's probably more. <laughs> Dark Souls Remastered. Bad take. Well, I think everybody agrees that the movie remakes tend to be pretty bad. There's a few examples of bad movie remakes. Uh, Robocop, Total Recall, Ben-Hur, Red Dawn, Ghostbusters. Yeah, I mean, there's like, like 90% of them. Every Disney live action. There's exceptions. Like um, Let Me In. That movie has old boy, don't even talk to me. Okay, you're right, but don't even talk to me. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense that Let the Right One In came out in like 2009 and was a 10 out of 10. And America said, hey, two years later, let me remake that shit. And they remade that shit and it was like a 10 out of 10. That's crazy to me. I don't know how they did that. That never happens. Rare Chloe Grace Moretz dub. They are rare, aren't they? It's, it's sad to say... Because, like, you know, you thought maybe you were seeing her coronation when she was Hit Girl. But, like, she's really been in a lot of ass. Including Kick-Ass 2. Kick-Ass 2 was good. Okay, uh, e Evil Jim Carrey be like, Kick-Ass 2 is my favorite movie. Slash marker dolls. They call them the dolls. They're anything but... Sorry, we, I always love that I, I basically throw like a suicide pass immediately. I told like a good joke and then immediately slash markered so I had no momentum coming into the video at all. Anyway, um, we're starting with Tradle as usual. It's a $3.2 billion export. Mostly scrap iron and iron ore. Crustaceans. Crustaceans is always a good um, clue to get because it means you're probably on the coast... Materials being exported plus um, total volume of exports indicates to me that this is possibly Africa. I'm going to start with Western Africa, and I'm going to say that this is Burkina Faso. Just a guess. It is not Africa. Okay, it is South America or Central America. 3.2 billion is pretty low, and South America doesn't have that many smaller countries. You know, it's got... Suriname, and it's got Guiana, French Guiana. It's got maybe, I, mean, I got to imagine even Bolivia is higher than $3.2 billion in exports. Obviously, Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Chile, Argentina. Did I say Argentina maybe already? Anyway, they, they're going to have more than this. I feel like if it was like Costa Rica, we would have like bananas, tropical fruits or something. If it was... Panama, we would have something related to ships, I would have to imagine. Just because, like, why wouldn't you build a ship where the canal is? Maybe that's stupid reasoning, but it seems right to me. Well, I think I... I'm, it's not going to be Venezuela. There would be, like, petroleum. So I think I have to go into Central America. No, but it's not... It's Curacao's not... It's... I'm missing an obvious country or something. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> What's wrong with me? How can it be there's something in between these two that I'm missing? Maybe a, a southern, a very, very southern Caribbean island, which I maybe Trinidad and Tobago, which is kind of North America, but it's a little, oh, oh, okay, it's southwest of Trinidad and Tobago. I'm going to I'm going to wash out today. I don't I don't have a good answer. I don't know which I don't the islands in this region are not my strong suit. Could this be perhaps a St. Kitts and Nevis? 
or is Saint Bartholomew? It's not Saint Bartholomew. It is Ven. Wait, what the hell? I don't buy it. I simply don't buy it. Where's the petroleum? Data is wrong due to sanctions. Because of U.S. sanctions, they don't count the petroleum. Venezuela exports no petroleum. I don't. I don't believe this. They're an OPEC nation, aren't they? Oil-producing and exporting countries. Venezuela illegally sells oil to China and Iran. I'm honest. I'm. When we get it wrong, I am okay with being wrong. This feels like we got caught on a technicality. Like they export oil and they get paid for the oil, but they're not going to count it like, they, oh, oh, their leaderboard position is not going to be fair. We don't want them to get a G Fuel sponsorship based on how much illegal petroleum they're exporting. What do you mean illegal? Illegal according to who, Ben? Aquaman? I don't get it. This is, a, this is a damn scam. This is my first ever thumbs down to Tradle. But I understand, like, it's, there's, we're, we're dealing with stuff above my pay grade, but it's the same reason they don't list, like, drugs in their sales. Yeah, but, like, like there's, like, ledgers, right? <laughs> like, I feel like we don't know, unless you, you kidnap Gustavo Fring, we don't know, like, how much cocaine comes... It, like in on an itemized list from uh, like Colombia to other countries, but what we do know is that like there's probably like damn receipts. There's paper trails for the petroleum. Thank you for the rant. I missed it too and had the same rant until my wife told me to shut up. I mean, that's just, I mean, it, you know what? It's an interesting wrinkle. It was an opportunity to learn something. Okay, to honor Venezuela today, we will place it right there. It's quite far from Venezuela. Unless, oh, we don't count Venezuela because they uh, illegally got placed on the globe. I don't know. Fucking, <laughs> shut up. The hell are you? Tenerife. Did you mean Venezuela? No. Um, I just, the problem for me is I don't believe that, like, I could type in Switzerland and it's 7,000 kilometers from, or maybe it's 8,000 from Venezuela. Maybe, okay, let's try Switzerland. Switzerland. Switzerland is the warmest so far. It's 510 kilometers from Switzerland. How about, uh, Czechia? That's adjacent. How about Poland? That's adjacent. Okay, I'm stupid. But it's not going to be Germany because Germany borders Switzerland. <laughs> so it's Austria. Austria. Austria is adjacent to the answer. <laughs> okay, it's Hungary. Hungary is adjacent to the answer. Okay, it's Slovakia. We got there. I honestly, first off, it's annoying that it took me 12 guesses. But... How messed up is it that Slovenia and Slovakia don't border each other? We got you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. I'm Slovakia. I'm Slovakia. Why should they? Because the names of the countries are super similar. Like, think of it. North Korea, South Korea, Maryland, Monroe, adjacent. Guyana, French Guiana, adjacent. Congo, Democratic Republic of the Congo, adjacent. Slovenia, Slovakia, oh, sorry, no touching, no touching. Get over yourselves, man. What about Equatorial Guinea and Guinea Bisu? I'll be honest with you, I'm immune to the criticism there because I don't know the geographical position of either of those countries. <laughs> oh, no, now I've done it. I tried to click to set my screen region. I accidentally clicked on an ad for Pepsid AC. Now that's all I'm going to get forever. I'm pretty sure this is just like, um, like Cambodia. This looks like Southeast Asia to me. Holy fuck. Could I, uh, my name's Chandler. Could I be any more wrong? 18,000 kilometers west. Is it crazy to say that this is, um, Venezuela? <laughs> Not that crazy, not that crazy. Is it Colombia? 
It is Colombia. Okay. Okay. Holy cow. You want to talk a DreamWorks movie that went 6x in its second week at the box office? Offish. The genre is drama. It's not an animated film. It stars Kevin Spacey from 1999. Kevin Spacey, 1999. I'm going to call this American Beauty. But it is. Okay. I'm a genius. <laughs> no one has the courage that I do to say that even though Kevin Spacey has been canceled, American Beauty is still like a really good movie. A lot of people put some good work in there, okay? Annette Benning put in some great work. The dude who was the dad on the OC put in some great work. Chris Cooper put in some great work in that movie. I will say, and this, this is my go-to movie when I talk about how much the world has changed in 20 years is that in 1999, I guess, watching Kevin Spacey have like a good and stable job that probably had a pension and be like, I'm not satisfied in my life, I'm gonna ruin it. You were like, dude, he's finding meaning in his life. This is like inspirational. Now you're like, what are you doing, you idiot? You got an amazing job. Just like stay in it, on t like go to work for eight hours, Go home to your huge house with your nice family, treat them better, and then like, you know, just enjoy your life and fucking die in 45 years, okay? All because you wanted to what? You wanted to bench press? You couldn't find the time to bench press because you were, you were working too much? Don't sleep with your daughter's 17-year-old best friend? You have to watch the movie, okay? It's that, like, he, there's, I'm not saying that uh, Lester Burnham is a good guy, but there is character growth that happens over the course of the movie. He doesn't sleep with his daughter's friend. Part of the uh, point of the movie is that he fantasizes it, but his own fantasy is naive, and then when it starts to manifest into reality, he's like, what the fuck am I doing? I've uh, fucked up my whole life. That's the point of the movie. It's the same people that are like, we gotta cancel Robert Downey Jr. for Tropic Thunder. You don't understand, it's a satire. It's a satire. Okay, anyway. Paramount Pictures, 1999, opens to $23 million. All I'm saying is if we start, oh, there's bad people in the movie. Yeah, they're fucking fictional characters. Get in, Enjoy the future of cinema, where absolutely everything comes out on one of 35 different streaming services instead of actually going to the theaters, and the entire movie is just the most realistic depiction of a panic attack ever put to screen. But the thing having a panic attack, a panic attack isn't a real human being, it's a fucking like, uh, faultless cartoon animal, okay? Enjoy that, enjoy that. Guess the game. I know this game. I know these stairs. This is like Nidhogg. It's Lemmings! It's Lemmings! Yes! Ever tell you that um, we used to, in sixth grade, we had like a year-long Lemmings competition? in our class, like sanctioned by the teacher. Whoever got like to the furthest level got like a $20 gift certificate for pizza or something like that. You had to store your password on a piece of paper because I mean, it was back in the day. This is like the year 1999 or something like that. We got to like level, me and my partner got to level 80 or something like that. By the way, I think I'm, I'm being spied on by the guest of game or game deal developers. This is Smash Brothers Melee. I'd recognize it anywhere. Um, but then literally like a week before the end of the competition, my friend lost the password so we couldn't prove it. Even though the teacher had come by and seen that we were on like level 80 and then the next closest person was on level 50. He was like, to teach you a lesson because you can't prove it, I have to give uh, the prize to the team that can actually prove it. We're in the sixth grade, you piece of trash. <laughs> What's the lesson? The lesson is that like he wishes that he got drafted in a war to fight in, but he didn't. But his dad was like strict on him, so he feels like he has to pay it forward to make us into like real men. We were 11 and 12 years old. The lesson is that he taught us the lesson that sometimes there's mean people in this world by being a mean person. Wow, good lesson. Housel, presented by Tori Daly. There's no question this shit is in... 
like Jackson Hole. So I'm going to call this a $4 million house. Bummer, too high. It's in Missoula, Montana. Never mind, it's an $800,000 house. Too low? 4,100 square feet. Uh, POV, you are about to be served three tacos for $27. It's in Majula. Um, it's $1.4 million. Still too low. Five bed, three bath. Kind of digging the bedroom, honestly. I do hate this. Listen, you can call me a hater if you want, because I bet you motherfuckers probably have this picture in your house. If you have like a, a decorative picture of New York in your house... Just fucking, like, move there. Well, you love New York so much. I know you didn't take this fucking photo. You probably went to New York on vacation for, like, three days once, and you were like, it's the greatest city in the world. Now you're decorating your whole house with pictures of another city? That, that's so, like... I, I don't know, it's just weird to me. It's also weird to decorate your house with pictures of the city that you live in that you didn't take because you're like, I get it, you live here. Like, why do you need like a, a shot of downtown over your bed? But like, I don't know, it's just weird. It, loser mentality. Listen, you said it, not me. I'm going to say $2 million. That's too high. It's between 1.4 and 2. What the hell is that? It's like a fake stadium or something? In-home stadium? I mean, I think it's a like a mural. I don't know. Um, 1.75 million. You are a Housel legend. I'm crazy. What can I say? All that money and they project their home theater onto a blank wall? You know that I've said this many times, but I am not a believer in the home theater as like one of the best amenities to have in your house. I feel like people always end up doing it in like a way that's worse than just having like a good TV and a good sound system. It's always like 16 chairs that don't allow any intimacy and then like a 480p projector and it's like a popcorn machine. And I'm like, I don't want that. Just give me like a, I'll take like a sick living room or something like that. The hell is this? The running of the sheep in Wales? This is not Wales. This looks like Spain, circa 2017. Sheep passing through central Madrid, where farmers exercise their right to use ancient migration routes. See, that's culture. I meant that shit is like annoying, but that's also culture. That's cool. This is the kind of shit you can do when your country's like, you know, 30,000 years old. And in Vancouver, they're like, no fireworks. German Wine Fest 2007. Keep Birmingham tidy. Okay, we got everything. German Wine Fest 2007. Did you guys attend? If you remember where you were during Birmingham's German Wine Fest 2007, then you weren't really there. A Buddhist festival in Birmingham. You got it spot on. This is Hu Jintao in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. En route to Hogwarts, apparently. Dressed like a nerd. I'm going to say this has to be... He's probably in his late 60s now. I would say he's in his early 20s here. Let's call this... 45 years ago. Let's put this at 1960. You know, I'm going to put it a little further ahead. I'm going to put it in 1973. It's 1985. I did get the name of the president wrong. I, I morphed two presidents together. Xi Jinping and Wu Jintao. But still, this, is, this picture goes hard as hell for sure. This has got to be like Moscow... 1996. Move the picture? I will not. <laughs> Teenager on a street in Moscow shortly before the collapse of the USSR? Yeah, she did that. 42,530? We take those. Today I'd like to go from Guyana to the United States of America. It's like we practiced for this. It's like we were made for this. You're going to go to... 
Venezuela. You're going to go to Colombia. Then you're going to go to Panama. And now things get a little tricky. <laughs> you're certainly, at some point, you're going to be going through Mexico. So let's just put that on the critical path. Let's put that on the Gantt chart. And then Guatemala is somewhat large. Hey, it's on the critical path. Uh, Panama to, is not that large, by the way. We're going to go Panama to El Salvador. It's not on the critical path. You're going to go to Costa Rica. Yeah, it's on the critical path. You're going to go to Nicaragua. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're going to go, your ass is going straight to Honduras. Pretty good. I, I, I hate that we added El Salvador because it ruined our perfect, but otherwise pretty good. But also, I think we named every country in... Uh, oh, bless you. I think we named every country in Central America except for uh, Belize. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's basically borderline impossible to go wrong there. Buddy, there's 30 countries in, South, in Central America. Listen, hater. We go Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, Mexico. What are we missing? They're all islands? The islands are part of the Caribbean. They're not part of Central America. There's like North North American, and then there's Central America, and then there's the Caribbean. You can't count the islands as Central America. Belize, Navidad, so true, so true. Central America is part of North America. Everybody knows that, okay? It's not like you said something, with, you know, revolutionary. That's like saying, oh, if I name a country that I'm like, oh, Latvia is my favorite Scandinavian country. And you're like, Latvia is actually part of the Baltic. And I'm like, actually, the Baltic and Scandinavia are both part of Europe, idiot. You can Eurosplain to me. I see you typing in other streamers' chats like, oh, imagine being in North America and eating bread. <laughs> Did you know that an Irish judge once said that Subway is not bread, it's cake? <laughs> I would never. No bakeries exist in North America. <laughs> Me buying bread from Sainsbury's. Oh, this is so much tastier than bread that I buy from uh, Nancy Silverton's. Uh, it, it, like, long story. Listen, but when we talk about North America, you don't fuck around with me, okay? It's all I know. Wake up, honey. New. How am I going to describe this game? You know what? Let's go to the Steam page and figure out how we're going to describe this game. It's a management game set in a small hamlet at the foot of a lighthouse. See, like, Wake Up Honey, new management game just dropped. It just doesn't have that, uh, doesn't have that sizzle. At some point, I gotta, like, see the lighthouse, man. Uh, maybe, like, next decade. It's a great movie. Yeah, but, like, so what? You know? If I was gonna see it, I should have done it before I had a kid. Smashmarker, Deluvian, wins. Wake up, honey. I Listen, we, we just went through this. There's no wake up, honey, that you can do for this. This is Deluvian Wins. First thing I want to say is thank you to Goblin Studio for the sponsorship. Exclamation point, Deluvian Wins. That's D-I-L-U-V-I-A-N Wins. Or you can scroll down below the video player and you can see yourself a little bit of panel art there that you can click on to check it out. It just came out in Steam Early Access today. It is a management game where you play a cute little walrus that has to stoke the fire of the lighthouse in order to keep ruin from coming to uh, the town where he works and resides. Now, I've described it a little bit as, I think it's maybe Terraria meets Dredge, maybe a little like Domekeeper Kingdom style stuff going on as well. Let, let's get it started in story mode here and we'll, we'll learn on the fly. We'll start with an introduction on the normal difficulty. The game uses auto saves. I am, I am aware, I am familiar with the process. I will not hit Alt F4 when there is a floppy disk in the bottom right corner. Chapter Zero, Day One, A New Life Begins. You ever think about how nice it would be in real life if you got like chapter delineators that just appeared in your vision? Sometimes you don't know, it's like a recession, you know? You don't know that you've started a new chapter in your life until, until you're 80% of the way through it. It'd be sick if you like, well, maybe it'd be scary if you went to work one day and it was just like a random Thursday and it was like chapter four. You'd be like, oh, snap, I'm on edge. 
Anyway. Clear a building. Oh, no, it's, hang on. Click on the trash is, is a clear action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, clear this debris right here. We got it. I'll remove the debris. I should be done by this afternoon. Every activity is exhausting. It lowers my morale. The, the, Gen Z, man. Kim Kardashian was right. Nobody wants to work these days. Every activity is exhausting and lowers my morale. If it ever reaches zero, I will have to rest and won't be able to help anyone. That was a Gen Z. That was a joke, okay? I'm sorry. That was just a joke millennials like to tell them sometimes. You can tell it's a joke because usually it'll be a reference to Anchorman or like Napoleon Dynamite. How do we feel about Ratatouille here? Carmen. No, nobody's going fully blue on that one. What if we made a new recipe? Everyone goes fully blue. We'll be a little light on insects. But hey, a vegetable and insect bento. Vegetables plus seven, insects plus seven. A story by the fire. We don't need to go off on bento boxes. We've already, uh, we've already talked about it. I'm not a huge fan of the bento. I feel like for the most part, you would be better off ordering an entree-sized portion of what your favorite part of the bento is rather than compromising and getting a little bit of variety, but there's very inconsistent quality in the average bento, is my personal opinion. We don't need to go back with it. I'm just saying if you want tempura, maybe it's better to get a little appetizer tempura and then something else that you want, instead of like you get two pretty bad gyozas and then like a horrible salad and then like, oh, I wanted sushi, but then they give you four pieces of like their worst roll. Anyway. Ryan asked what I wanted for dinner yesterday, and I was too self-conscious to say sushi. It's all right. I knew you were thinking it. You know what I should say next time? I should just say, do you want sushi for dinner? No fish, no sushi? What are you talking about? You can, uh, you can order fish. You can order sushi. I love fish. I like sushi, but oftentimes when we order sushi, I can order something that's not sushi from the menu. I'm not shaming her. It's the same thing. Like, my wife has me pegged. I was going to say in more ways than one, but that's not what I meant. If she ever asks me what I want to order, she already knows it's going to be either Mexican food or like Nando's or something like that. So she like, she bakes it in to begin with. Like I, I, the interaction will usually be like, what do you want for dinner tonight? And I'm like, I don't really care. What do you want for dinner tonight? And then she's like, you can choose. And then I'm like, how about Mexican? And then I already know that that's a built-in no but you have to get that out there to then move the conversation forward. What's wrong with Mexican? It's just not my wife's cup of tea. Yes, that's a good way to describe it. Mexican food is the chump blocker in the card game that is marriage. It's because when you eat beans, I have to suffer your farts. You know what? Tr true, true, that's pretty true. He won't fart in front of me, but he farts in front of our daughter. Yes, I understand the pecking order. My life will get worse if I make my life's, my wife's life worse. But I have dominion over our child. And also she just laughs. Like whenever I fart in front of her, she goes like, you, you're a farter. And then I go like, I'm a farter. And she goes, yeah, you're a farter. And I'm like, you got me. Also, if I didn't fart in front of my wife and my daughter, I would explode. Cause there's no other opportunity to fart. I'm not gonna fart it up on stream. And then apart from that, I'm like around them the rest of the day. So like I'd, I would just die. Cause like I, I'm not farting for fun. I'm farting like for, it's, they're medicinal. Go outside in the driveway. Yeah, but then I'd be like to tossing my shoes on and then taking them off like 10 times a day. Oh yeah, no Peloton talk today. That's because I now have 47 followers on Peloton. So I let my rides do the talking for me. I am one of the most popular personalities on the entire bike with 47 followers. I will say that today I got passed by two individuals that made me feel like maybe I'm cooked. One of them was Katniss Maximoff and their picture was uh, Wanda from WandaVision. And then the other one was Salt Lick Scrotum. And I don't even know how that name gets past the, the profanity filter, but anyone notice how loud he's breathing? Careful, I did, I, I permitted someone two days ago for saying anyone notice how loud he's breathing. And then their on-ban request was like, please, I'm literally just a guy. So I did on-ban them. 
yes, but you taught us that trick. Yeah, and then for like weeks, I said, you got to stop saying it because you're scaring the hoes. And then people went, <laughs> and then they started getting banned for it. And they're like, what the fuck? I told you. You, you were warned. You reap what you sow? No, you, I, I reap and I sow. You get perma. That's the way that this goes here, okay? Oh, the crunch, that juice, the fat, the gravy. Oh, the gravy. I remember the blueprint. I used the very similar one as a tablecloth. You know, Keeper, such a well-performed request will surely fill up your knowledge meter. Sharing is a principle, a principle founding of science. Adaptation. Great movie. Maybe, maybe the... I, as an adult, it brings me no pleasure to say adaptation, perhaps the best Charlie Kaufman screenplay. Mm, I know, Gen Z's all about the Schenectady New York, and I also, I mean, The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, one of my favorite movies of all time, but I mean, the adaptation's got some very special moments and, and great performance from Nicolas Cage. Performance is, I suppose. Is Gen Z really all about Schenectady New York? Brother, it's Gen Z, okay? All it takes to shift the Overton window for Gen Z is one YouTuber to make a two-hour-long video essay about how it's underappreciated. And then, you know, all the little worker bees that watched it go out to every Twitch chat on the planet. And they're like, well, actually, a lot of pe many people are saying that the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, is one of the only the last true blockbusters of the 2000s. All they do is eat hot chip and talk about Schenectady, New York, okay? Roger Ebert did say Schenectady, New York was one of his favorite movies of the decade. Yeah, but what, is, what did that guy know about movies at the end of the day? I'm, I'm more of a fan of Roger Ebert for his opinion on video games. Preferred noodle? I think I'm very particular about my pasta tastes. Or even like my, my Asian noodle tastes. Um, and I don't think that it's sensible. I think that it's a little bit insane. But, like, you know what's weird to me is I do not like spaghetti at all, but I love linguine, and it's almost the same noodle. Like, a, spaghetti is just a round noodle, and linguine is just a flat noodle, but otherwise they're, like, almost identical. And I, for, if you were going to give me, like, a, a clam spaghetti, I would be like, you've lost your mind. But a clam linguine, I'm like, mmm, yum, sounds delicious. How do you not like spaghetti? I'm like the opposite. I'm like, how do you like spaghetti? Like my, my spaghetti theory is that people only like it because they grew up eating it. If they grew up eating like, a, you know, orzo instead, people would be like, oh, yum, orzo is my comfort food. I like linguine. I like, um, I mean, who doesn't like tortellini? Gnocchi. Penne's fine. Not a big rotini guy. Rotini always makes me feel like I should be eating like a pasta salad or something like that. Of course, ravioli. Farfalle. I love a farfalle. I love an orecchiette. I'm not that into the macaronis. I'm not that into the bucatinis. And for Asian noodles, I'm even more picky, which is, I know I'm not much of a picky eater, but I, um, I like a ramen. And then I don't really love any of the other ones. I... I an udon is like it picks up too much broth for me. And then a soba, I'm just, I'm not all about it. I'm just, for whatever reason, the, the soba doesn't strike me. I'm a, I'm a ramen guy. Pho? I mean, I like pho, yeah. I don't really like vermicelli. I suppose I am not buckwheat pilled. Most underrated snack and why is it rice cakes? I'm, I think the media put a hit out on rice cakes. The fact that so many people are like, rice cakes are tasteless, kind of blows me away. They're literally covered in, like, flavored powder. If you're eating plain rice cakes, like, that's your own fault. It's like only eating Lay's potato chips and being like, oh, chips are bad. You've lost your mind. Rice cakes with the white cheddar powder are, are great, as far as I'm concerned. And the crispy minis go hard, too. Minus five wood plus ten question marks. Honestly, today, I gotta hit you with a no thanks, you can keep it on that one. I'm sorry to say. This is like when they bring in donuts to make all the miserable workers happy. What are you talking about? Half of my workforce literally just drank tea in the garden all day. 
This is like Google during the uh, zero interest rate period. This is a damn dream. You just wait till the tidal wave hits and, you know, uh, refinancing your mortgage puts you on like a 6.7 or something like that. Then, you'll, then you're going to get some damn dough. You'll be happy for the donuts. Salad for dinner again. What's your... I love salad. The media put out a hit job on salads, too. I asked my wife what she wanted for dinner last night. She said she wanted a sandwich. I went to the sandwich place. Guess what I got? I got a motherfucking salad. Because I would, I'm, I'm now at the point, it's not a compromise anymore. I would rather eat like a salad than almost anything else. You can have some mighty tasty salads, man. It was actually more like a bowl, I guess, because it did have like a base of, of brown rice as well attached to it. And then a grilled chicken breast on top. It was, it was tasty. It was as tasty as, as you can imagine. That versus like a ham sandwich... Not even close. By the way, Daniel, thank you for the raid. Thank you. That's poke. You don't know, with all due respect, you don't know what you're talking about. Do you, do you see any, uh, any taro chips in it? Do you see any cubed tuna? Do you see any pineapple or mango? Do you see any crab salad? That's not a poke, okay? Isn't poke just an applied... Listen, don't debase yourself. We got a lot of words in the English language, and we're going to use most of them today, okay? Poke versus bowl versus bibimbap. Poke and bibimbap are both subsets of the larger set bowl. It's not that complicated. You just need to apply some set theory. Bibimbap is a Korean dish usually consisting of white rice, julienned vegetables, and a spicy sauce called gochujang. Occasionally, you can add some meat to it as well if you so desire, and you could even apply a dolsat in order to get the crispy rice. Poke, uh, an, a, again, a bowl... Uh, a, it's a, a, of Hawaiian origin, a fish salad bowl, usually consisting of cubed tuna or salmon, and then various tropical slash seafood ingredients, crab salad, seaweed, mazago, um, crunchy garlic, crunchy onions, soy sauce, ponzu, etc., etc. Anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> What do we need today? What's your favorite woodland creature? Honestly, the, the, the kind that I see in Vancouver now and then. I like a squirrel. I know you're not supposed to get close to them because they are disease carriers. But you see them often. They're reasonably cute. They, they run funny and they climb things. I like seeing a squirrel. I feel like the, the main benefit of a squirrel is that a squirrel is very uh, common. It's good to like a squirrel because you see them all the time. I also like raccoons, honestly. I think raccoons are, are very cute. And I think, you know, it sucks when they open your trash can to like eat your trash. But brother, they're eating trash. Like, can you just cut them some slack? It'd be worse if they were opening your fridge and eating your ribeyes or something. They'd literally just eating like old you know, oil-soaked paper and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, I'm not eating it. Go nuts. Available housing for rerolls three. Become happy is something we just don't take. We need a beaver. No, we need a an otter. I think I'm gonna reroll you because it's hard to give. It's hard to get fish right now. Can I get a beaver? I mean, an uh, otter. You're not an otter. Producing vegetables is very easy though. I'll replace you. Otter! Let's go! But produce insects is hard. Eh, whatever. Annoying, at least. That's not an otter. It's another beaver. Listen. I'm not trying to step on Charles Darwin's toes. All I'm going to say is it's my personal opinion, huge if true, that otters and beavers share a common ancestor. And if that offends you, then honestly, that's your problem. The mice long for the mines. Silence. I kill you. That's, that's very true. One of the many things that Jeff Dunham said that was so true. Sometimes speaking truth to power requires that you use an avatar. 
You can't simply say it in your own voice or you'll be put in the stocks in the town square. And that avatar, of course, went by the name of Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. I remember cracking up with this stuff when I was a kid. If you watched Jeff Dunham as a child and you laughed, I can't be mad at you. I mean, they're... A kid enjoying Jeff Dunham's comedy is ter perfectly fine. But his target audience is actually like 55-year-old adults plus, which is unforgivable. Hey, go off, Kings. Thank you for the raid. We were just talking about Jeff Dunham, which I'm assuming since I know that you're fans of comedy, you're probably very familiar with some of his work. I was absolving my chat because some of them said that they watched Jeff Dunham and laughed when they were kids, which I said was fine because it's made for children. I don't want to go too far because we might have a lot of Dunham heads that are watching the show today. And I've heard he made extreme advances in puppetry, right? Like he's, as a comedian, I don't know if he's, uh, well, I know that he's not very good. He's definitely not my style uh, or anybody's style because I like watching things that are good instead of terrible. Um, but I heard that he was really good at the puppetry. I heard that he was like a, is like a it's the puppeteer's puppeteer. He was the first person conceived via puppet? There's no way, because puppets have been around so long. There's no way that's true. Oh, the fishery. Every single otter won't appear for me. You're a bear, so you're great at collecting insults. I mean, insects. Just stick to your strengths. And then, you know, sure, 11 ingots. Not the, oh, well, we need something to do with our metal. Otherwise, it's going to decay, I guess. But whatever. Oh... My metal went bad. Oh, honey, before you went to bed last night, did you put those iron ingots in the fridge? Oh, sorry, I forgot. That's like a Jeff Dunham joke? I don't... Who, does he have, like, a an annoying millennial puppet that he could use to put words in my mouth? Sorry, I don't drink coffee. I only drink Starbucks. Silence. I cancel you. That's Jeff Dunham. Call it, it's Quinn the Annoying Millennial. Don't talk to me until I've had my Starbucks. Silence. I cancel you. Oh, I can't afford a million dollar house, yet I spend five dollars a day on Starbucks. Somebody help me balance my budget. <laughs> Silence. I cancel you. I will say, I didn't think this kind of person existed. Kate and I were in a park on Saturday, and I don't, Kate, I don't know if you heard this guy, but he said ever since like he started to work from home, he doesn't go to Starbucks anymore. His exact words were, I had like a thousand dollar a month Starbucks habit. This dude was spending $30 every day at Starbucks. I didn't think that people like that existed. I thought they were made up by... 60-year-old homeowners to justify not feeling guilty for property prices inflating so high over the course of their lifetimes. I, he must have been exaggerating like a little bit, but like I could see like, I mean, what's, what's my Starbucks trip? I never go there, essentially, but maybe like once every two months, I forget to have cold brew in the house, and then I'll go to Starbucks and be like, I'll take a cold brew. Give me a liter of cola. But I could see if you ordered a drink, like a, a, a huge drink, and a lunch daily, you could spend 15 bucks a day. 30 bucks a day is like double what I would put at the premium level. And then make it every day. That's crazy mode like I, I hope he was exaggerating anyway let's sorry <laughs> there's a starbucks at the target i work at and employees will get a drink on two or three breaks every day sorry i just had to click on chat to get it to refresh because i lost my mind three times three starbucks drinks a day no 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 it can't be that average person but that's why would you care? Oh, no, wait, it's REM poster. Sorry. I thought that was just perfectly timed. It's like I, I care for their well-being. I'm like, I'm not judging, like, from an ethical or a moral standpoint, but more like a financial standpoint. It just doesn't seem like... I mean, if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad, I guess. But 
I learned of the existence of cold brew from you. It was a real eye opener. Yuck, 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 yuck. Sorry, Mom. I don't have time to talk to you right now. I'm too busy trying to figure out where to put all these avocados into my 250 square foot condo. Silence. I cancel you. They love me. <laughs> they go crazy for me. Jesse, what are you talking about? It's not Jesse. Why is everyone talking about Jesse? This is Jeffrey. You see Chris Rock's new special? I did. I did, and I did not like it. There were parts of it that I thought were reasonably funny, and then there was a lot of it where I was like, stand-up comedians need to retire as soon as they get rich. There are very few comedians who got like insanely wealthy and then went on to produce good work. I mean, this is <laughs> not, not ready for this take. Someone said, what about Louis C.K.? I think you're actually right. Like, Louis C.K. was still making pretty good stuff. He just got canceled. It wasn't that he became, like, a bad comedian. It's like, I feel like he was a pretty okay comedian. We just He just had a dark secret that came to light. And now he's probably got to be bad at stand-up comedy, right? Because he has to do, like, the anti-woke across America tours now where he's touring with like Jeff Dunham and the dude with the funny face from Half Baked. So now he's got a like that's that is anyone else I don't want to go on off, off on a rant here, but does anyone else think that Louis CK is kind of the Lydia Tar of stand up comedy? Jim Brewer, that's his name. <laughs> Man's opening up for for Jeff Dunham. Jeff Dunham. Dude, you gotta go see the new Jeff Dunham special. He literally just does 45 minutes of Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. It's so funny. Same Dunham. More Ahmed. Audience waiting with bated breath. Silence! Audience is like, pause champ. I kill you. Audience is like, I can't. He'll kill me. I can't. Mr. Jeff Dunham should release a, a a woke puppet that says, silence, I'll cancel you. That would go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Hello. 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 Mr. Bean voice. Um, I come in my pants. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. It's good. It's good. All right. Uh, we were just pointing out that uh, we're here on this special day and time for because of Apollo, who ain't even here. Mm, that's true. I did tell him I'd be late, though, so maybe he's, like, thinking I'm a normal streamer, so when I say 10 minutes late, I'm going to be 20 minutes late. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. 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 Your build difference, it was just 12 minutes. Well, that's because my yeah. clock is like, <laughs> yeah, my clock's two minutes slow for some reason. That's it's true, his clock is two minutes it is. slow. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load Jackbox and I'm going to go get some beef jerky. I'll be back in just a second. That's, that sounds good. Well, he's not using, he's not, does, does everyone else just use the, the clock on their computer? That's the only uh, yeah, that's yeah. the only clock I use. I use yeah. the clock, my, my computer and clock is like, slow? it's out of sync or something. D there's How a checkbox that you can check that's like, hey, Windows, maintain this for me. They're trying yeah. to get me to do a Windows update, and I refuse. It's 7 a.m. where Chimley is? Yeah, 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 He usually wakes up for this shit, though. Because he's a, he's a real G. Chip, oh, man. I, I, would, I would bet uh, both my money and my life that we don't get a Chibli today. He's also probably just skipping Quicksort again. That, that boy's sleeping. <laughs> Yes, he's definitely sleeping. This, this got planned at 10 a.m. today. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the, so he does not know. Last post from Chib was at 1.30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Although he is an early to rise boy, it could happen. He could be here in the second half. Maybe. I didn't want to add him. I don't you know should. why. I think just because I added him like the day before. To wake up from uh -huh. London, I think what I wanted him to do was just see it and wake up of his own devices. 
He's gonna wake up and think we uh, like moved it so that he wouldn't be here, and he's gonna be upset. And he's, Who? He's gonna <laughs> Chibli, because because he's thirteen, he's not allowed to be in Jackbox anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they closed his Twitch account for being thirteen. That's well, that's uh, crazy. Oh. Hello, Justin. I've got good news for you. Mm. Oh yeah. I uh, someone did worse on the bird not bird quiz than you did. So. Oh, let's go. Yeah. That rocks. Yeah. I'm not so bad. Enjoy to hear that. Mm, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Is that like uh, oh, you would see the text of the bird's name and say whether it's a bird just, or not bird? I just wrote down like eight birds and eight things that weren't birds and just asked them whether or not they were birds. <laughs> the many, highlight was, was when uh, it was worse than yours. I mean, both of you didn't know what an abacus was and both of you thought an abacus was a bird. So <laughs> that is pretty bad. It sounds like that a bird. What do you want from me? <laughs> it does sound like... A bird. Albatross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But at least that's... he didn't think a Glock was a bird. He thought a, he, he thought a Glock was a bird. Yeah, that's, a, that's a gun. <laughs> that was a gun. <laughs> I think it would be fun. It, is, has it ever been slang to call your gun your bird? <laughs> I don't Because it should be. It sounds like it is. <laughs> just stream. clicked on that and realized the roles that exist in this Discord. Are <laughs> it says I clicked on Ryan's name and said he's his role is sex oh, god. Oh, his role is sex god. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do I have a role? Nah. It's fucking cringe. Uh, Apollo, you. I think you can start it, brother. It's quick sword oh, forever. You... We should work together. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm happy to work together on quick sword forever. I don't hey, want to hey, brag, hey. but I had a hundred and ninety thousand uh, high score in this playing against Chad. Nice. Yeah. So hopefully, I haven't seen all the prompts by now. I, know, I, I survived for twenty-four motherfucking rounds. Can I give you God some damn. highlights? Um, timeline of Justin Bieber owning a monkey, from him what? getting the monkey to him losing the monkey. How, how about this one? Um, which children would you like to babysit the most? It's not even facts. It's just the <laughs> opinion. And then um, a completely made-up one: day in the life of a Jackbox writer. Damn, <laughs> and we we survived all three of those somehow. There's too uh, much. This pit. is Phantos. It's like, too uh, cinnamony. Ah, uh, fuck. I had no idea. No idea. Oh, Fanta. Fanta's. Like... You want a Fanta? Right? Thanks, man. I thought you were gonna tell me it was like somewhere else, and so I panicked and like spammed it to the left. Commercial hit, and I, I'm pretty what sure. What the fuck is Fanta? I think it's probably between Pib and Crush. Sprite, pop, Sprite right? tastes more modern than Seven Up. I know it doesn't make sense, but so? it just it tastes more modern. It's got more. There's it's more recent. Okay. Okay. There's, okay. More, there's <laughs> bubbles more. I think we uh, are extremely wrong on everything. I feel like Sprite is a uh, oh, a Coke product. So I don't know. I think it's Sprite comes after Seven Up though. Whoa, oh, okay. that was pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. I was gonna say Orange maybe from 1906. Just the fact Damn. that it's named Orange Crush made me think yeah. that it was old. Really? I hope the dude Damn. that invented the Orange Crush is getting his dick sucked in heaven right now. <laughs> yes! This is all you, Ryan. Okay, Ryan. Uh... It's so <laughs> makeable. It's so makeable. I think a lot of these are probably common sense too, if I had to guess. Yeah. I like that. When the I fuck like is this? <laughs> close, closer to, I would say, late middle. Yeah. So, like, one of these? Seems great. Great. I like that they measure it in months. How how old are you? I'm, I'm 37 mm. months. This is definitely. I, I see a map moon. In my opinion. At the least fact with... that you think this is common sense is absurd. <laughs> well, because you <laughs> went through it. Makes Ma first oh, 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 it's fake. It's fake. <laughs> Million it's dollar fake. baby, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's fake. <laughs> what the fuck? We all do that? Huh? Huh? This is Walks closer to this is like around a year. If you can imagine where a year is on the Corey? That's, I think yeah. that's right. I think it's right. Yeah. No. That's a year? Yeah. That's three that's like months. Six months. What? Like where you a year it? would be like oh, in the me. middle. Uh, what is this? No, no, the year's not in the middle. What do you go left? Go, left, go, go left, before me. walks, before walks, before walks. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. That's, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like two years would be in the middle. Okay, this is um, before can roll on the back. And if we get something really early, what you can do, if you know it's first, 
you can drop it uh, over the trash, touching the Cheeto on the left to break it. If we know it's discover real. simulation. Fate. I'm really getting the easy ones, man. <laughs> yeah, hit me with these. What the fuck? I really am questioning the uh, walks independently one. Why? I, well, no, Miles? I don't think it's your fault. You were told to do that. I think that'd be like here. I right? think it's perfect. What do you do? Walks independently. This is a, definitely before uses sentences. Yeah, but it's just yeah. Yeah, but the play, but like yeah, look at all Babbles the things. Apples and laughs. That's gotta be some uh, movie shit, right? Call it the uh, four uh, response yeah, to but, name. Yeah, put it on the Cheeto. Put it on the Cheeto. I, I'm tell block the oh, trash. Yeah, yeah, put it yeah, on yeah. the Cheeto. You can do it. We yes. can we can make this happen. Spam that right click, but not too much. Actually, no, you can go all the way in. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there oh. we go. Grasping Fucking Jesus Christ! Also what the pretty point? early. Oh. So again, I want to reiterate having... the walks independently placement. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. What's the point of having fucking forty-eight months? It does go all the way to forty-eight the... months. Where's like Ty's shoes? Ah! God, 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 damn, God it. damn it! Post I can't. You got it. You got it. You got it. Right, right there. It has yeah, to be it's there. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nightmare. What shit. is this bullshit? <laughs> Draw <God> demons. <laughs> <laughs> is that the Mad Moon? Can there be three trash? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. There's they, always yeah, like three. three okay, okay. Right. I think our order is not so bad. Our placement is fucked. But I, it's not. I don't think it's Corey's fault. You'd think they would be scattered like roughly equidistant. Yeah. Draw shapes. Forty-eight months. Oh my god. Well, on the side where we didn't need to get them perfect, we definitely crushed it. But <laughs> it's it's all it's all a mix at the start, man. <laughs> at least we got rid of a cheetah. We can get rid of two Cheetos at once there. Yeah, Left trash is closed. Yeah, it's not that it's not that bad. They've had a handful. No, they haven't. Uh, They've won two. Detroit has won like three or something. I don't know. Or two, yeah. maybe. All this is like two or three is bullshit. I don't know. We're ruined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't block the trash, though. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> we need to get rid of the Cheeto, man. There might be no we, we might not have it. Oh, they, I don't know. Fuck it, it's over. This is fucking ruined. If it's trash, it's ruined. just dump it left. Dump it left ASAP if it's trash. D dump it left! Corey! <laughs> <laughs> That's my fault. I was clicking. It, wouldn't, it didn't. I was clicking off the wrong screen. What is your ping, man? Like seven it's million? It's a Wi-Fi extender, dude. It's, it's my know. brain ping. It's not, the, it's not the game's fault. It's my brain's ping. Mine was only one two. Why do you oh just kept boy. saying a handful? I said oh, two. I said two a million times. You did say two. But Corey I said did. a handful though, and then mm. wouldn't put it to the left. All right, all right, all right. Run, run it back, run it back. We can make this work. <laughs> no, you can't. It's dead. I know. I mean, the like, run, it, run, it, back, run it back. Oh, I, 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 I made some mistakes there. I made some mistakes. You did pretty all right. That was fucking hard, man. Like a lot of those were just like anywhere between like three and it's eight. Two, it was three, just, like, four, how can you know? five. Yeah, yeah. No, it's tough. Still beat the audience. Oh, yeah, beat, the audience. Beat, the, beat the audience. Beat the audience. Beat the audience. Um, most uh, common. Most, most common. Place most it common. over right trash. I know that sounds crazy, but place it yeah, over the right trash. Touch a Cheeto. So we well we then we can slot the shit in on the bottom to fit it, and we can just dump everything in the left trash if we got to. Oh man, left okay, trash okay. means we gotta be so fast. You're the, the only trash. one who fucks it up except me that one time. <laughs> Fire ants. Trash, this trash. is trash. trash. It's not a pet. It's not a pet. Uh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> oh, they're gonna have the they're gonna have that Barcelona building. This is like the mid nineteen nineties, yeah. Okay, like here. I think it's I think one to the left, so it touches two Cheetos would go gangbusters. Oh, so that's the first one. Thirteen hundreds, the world's first building. The world's first building. I'm gonna put a little like that, so we're not so scrambled with trash. Okay. Maybe we get one older. Maybe they give us like the heaven or something. Building. Uh, That's uh, newer than the Great Wall. Pre Great Wall. What? I'm telling you. Pre Great Wall. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna trust I'm, your I'm double block. This, I'm blocking but... the trash. Best of luck to you, brother. Go to the right if you got to. Uh, the right trash is easy peasy. Wait, what if they give us the pyramids? That's, That's not, not the leaning right. tower of Ibiza. <laughs> if we get the pyramids, I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> If we get the pyramids, throw it in the trash real quick so we don't fuck up our streak. Machu Picchu! Where the fuck is Newer than the go? Great Wall, but older than Big Ben. Corey! Corey, you gotta get a wired connection, man. I'm ah, the, fuck. Oh, the throw great the trash, wall. throw the trash. Yeah, go ah. right. I hate to say it, but throw it in the right trash. That's all we could do. 
I don't think they're buildings, man. Those are tombs. <laughs> yeah. That's also oh, before fuck. Rome. Oh, oh bitch. It is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> I, made a, I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> Sorry, you're up. Oh, give me the fucking Burj Khalifa. Waffle House Temple. <laughs> oh, if only he put the damn thing right there, man. That's newer, isn't it? I think it's just no. between Big Ben and the Chrysler building. Yeah, like it's not as old as people so. think, okay. I mean. God, the speed at which you went left there was tragic. So I'm sorry, Cor. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I just you scare me, man. You <laughs> just scare me. I think these are like, besides Machu Picchu, I think they're fine, right? Oh, okay, you're right on the Great Wall. I honestly <laughs> thought it was built in like the 1100s. <laughs> Incredible. Well, it looks that's, like that's not so Machu bad. Pichu wasn't yeah, a problem. Fine. Stick them out right there. I don't care. Honestly, wait, it's still fine. It's fine. Just remember the left trash is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, I just. I, this is serial all over again, man. They're yeah. all from the 90s, yeah, dude. That is well, like after. 2000s, 90s. Oh. Yeah. I, I remember when this came out, it was a revolution. After whatchamacallit? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought Take 5 was new as hell. That's, That's fake. fake. Unless it's no Do you see how fast he clicked it this time? He's been telling us this is internet the whole time. <laughs> attention now, man. <laughs> That's fake. It's fake. He's right. All right, all right. Oh, Krypton is on the periodic table. Oops. Yeah, periodic table of comic books. Very common, according to Minecraft. More common than iron, for yeah, sure. True, true. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. 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 Just give me, like, oxygen or something. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, it's up there, for sure. <laughs> I was like, just give me one, man. Nitrogen? Vibes. Vibes. <laughs> scarce, scarce. Very scarce oh, right now, yeah. Man. Sorry, that, oh. that trash is blocked? That trash is blocked. Mm. Yeah, uh, Krypton's real. Krypton I feel real. like an asshole. But that just means we can get multiple streaks. True. I like I. You were so convincing. Oh, oh shit! No. Oh fuck! Oh no! Well, I got oxygen mm. right. <laughs> Copper's that fucking rare, bro. You should not be finding copper in in all the places on Earth or in Minecraft. Then. Well, let's be real. That Krypton one didn't really hurt us that bad. No. <laughs> Minecraft fucked us, dude. 28.2% <laughs> of the earth is Minecraft silicone? News. Daily news podcast. It's just New York yeah. Times. New York I've heard Times. of them. Oh, oh come on! I thought I had this last no. time! You give us this one right when we're dead? It is a shame. I'm so ready. Just spam left or right, whoever has it. Okay, Justin. It's just Justin, you got spam you, left or right, pick one. Left. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's the best, it's the best selling, selling game, of, game all of all time. <laughs> it's up there! That's the best selling game of all time! Fuck the trash! Go use oh, left man. trash! Use left trash! Right, we'll stack them all on top of it. Animal Crossing! <laughs> Super Mario Bros! Go, 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 It's not quite as popular as Animal Crossing, I'd say. Not it's quite definitely as more popular. <laughs> That's the most selling, it's the highest scoring game of all time. That was Tetris EA! What the fuck is EA? I don't know. Probably not very high. That's didn't sell that much. No one's heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. oh fuck! I, I don't know. It's not that Pretty popular. High. No. <laughs> it's early access Tetris. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tetris, oh, we we didn't have a chance there. That's okay. I would, yeah, I would not the number have one said, best selling game. I would not have said that Animal Crossing New Horizons sold more than Skyrim. Hmm. Hi -o. How scientifically <laughs> accurate oh, is this? Hi um, On a scale from good science to huh? I'd say it's certainly closer to the huh side. I was talking with my good friend Elam and we. Uh, we're trying to see what kind of things he didn't know, and uh, he was talking about how he only knew like three elements in the periodic table. That's and, crazy. Uh, how? how? Right, but possible? so you're going to need to let me finish because we proceeded to ask him 
okay, man, well, what three do you know? And he went, okay, well, water. Uh, oh, and no. uh, yeah, <laughs> and then we all laughed too loud to let him continue further yeah. past that. Oh, Incredible fire and earth, and <laughs> no, air. I think he said carbon dioxide. Second, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Fuck, man. I don't know, that's pretty convincing. <laughs> 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 Charge the face. Uh, I like the idea of like a really serious <laughs> space battle, but the dude who <laughs> yeah. named it called it Zoop Mode, and they all just kind of stuck with it. This is like the Three Stooges in outer space. <laughs> Sinking up a bit, I see. The real answer. My boys. Hey. 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 Apollo, how would you answer this? Mm -hmm. I got added. You have a chemistry degree, right? How is air not an atom? How would you respond to that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's a little bit to tease apart there. Yeah, well, more than a little bit. Air is, like, uh, air is a gas that is made up of many different molecule, molecules yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. elements. Some of them are... Some of them are oxygen. Some of them are carbon dioxide. Some of them are carbon monoxide. You gotta be careful with that one. Oh shit. A lot of nitrogen, nitrogen in there. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also farts. You gotta watch out for all the yeah. farts. Yeah. I that's yeah. CH4. That's methane. Mm hmm. Also, he has a bio degree. Yeah. yeah I, had to take two, I had to take two chemistry classes, but I do have a bio degree. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the worst catchphrase I've ever seen in this game. Mine is uh, so bad. Silence, I kill you. No, it just doesn't make sense and is also not funny instead of it not making sense and being funny who's your favorite jeff dunham puppet <laughs> for me it's got to be between walt uh walter the old man and ahmed the dead terrorist you know mm -hmm. the puppets i know two of them there's more than two of them i think there's a, a lady that says misogynist things <laughs> When I, uh, when I went to Florida last year first, to see family for my mom's time. birthday, Before we jump into the uh, jokes, there were people at the airport who had uh, matching Jeff Dunham bags. Device, Yo! To right like, like, like three animal. tote bags and a backpack. They were all Filling Jeff Dunham brand. Has a lot of comedic potential. That is great. If another player uses one of your topics in a winning flight. joke, he'll get some bonus My mom still today. likes Jeff Generate Dunham. I've stopped liking my mom since then. What a brutal comment. Please welcome our first comic. Don't be me. Is Ryan performing all of them for us yet? I'll read it if you want. Make some noise. It's for me. I'll perform the joke. Middle school for me was like Julius Caesar. No. I went to war with my teacher after crossing the Rubicon. Huh. Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. Do you guys use rubrics in the U.S.? <laughs> Are you familiar with uh, these? <laughs> you go. God created moms by coming. <laughs> oh, well, here we go. Oh, I really hope Ryan loses to his favorite joke. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we judges, go. Render your verdict. I don't know what else to do with that one. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. <laughs> it's too good, man. Yeah, it's too come good. Nodders, come nodders. Uh. <laughs> yeah, wasn't really close, really. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Every time, man. Every time. <laughs> Who wrote coming? I, dude, I, I would vote for my job job answers 100% of the time. What would you bring to the office potluck? My office potluck pick is hot dish of feces. Then my opponent, come shit. I read mine out loud, dead silence in the Discord call. Before I can even finish the first syllable of come shit, the entire Discord call erupts in outrageous laughter. It's the funniest thing they've ever heard in their entire life. It loses 91 to 9. I have three points at the end of round one. It drives me crazy, man. <laughs> Here we go. 
What's the difference between most people and landlords? Oh no. They're decent human beings. Hey. Pandering, pandering. That's when pandering. The, the, in the stand up special when everyone goes. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Have you ever tried headboarding? <laughs> That's when you go headboard mode. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Chibli. <laughs> I guess he is with us today. He's not here. I had to make up for it. Vote for your favorite oh. joke now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, true. So Sorry, true. Corey. Sorry. Oh. 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 I went headboard mode this year. Really? Great Got setup. my first headboard. Yeah, yeah. Here's another comedian. Would you go for it? Sorry. <clears throat> when I was a kid, we didn't have cans. <laughs> we had to drink all our soda out of aluminum breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I am amazed you got a joke out of that. <laughs> Truly monumental achievement. Oh. All right, there you go. I don't remember this one either. You ever noticed how Apollo <laughs> looks like <laughs> if you picked the tallest kid from church camp and gave him a bowl cut? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty good. Let us know which joke you like the most. God, aluminum titties or Wait, why is Chad laughing so hard at that? You're laughing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you are really why tall. Why is truing, man? Oh. Oh, I'm not up. mad. I tried to vote for you. I didn't realize I didn't get a vote. Uh, Ooh, well, thought, well thought. Well thought. Both good jokes. Both good jokes. A group of teens walk into a bar and order drinks. The bartender serves them and loses his job, so his wife leaves him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna be real topical. It's just emotion for the... time. I was gonna take it into like an even darker place. Uh, decided. I would. My to... <laughs> first thought I said was a group of teens walk into a bar and they don't survive. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> what? No! <laughs> I said on? it was a little dark. <laughs> Everyone likes my clean humor. How many hashtags does it take to change a light bulb? Oh man, three. One to screw it in, and two to hashtag tweet about it. Yo! Yo! Let's go! Do not let your estranged millennial son or daughter watch this. They will never <laughs> talk to you again and again. I'm gonna be honest, I, like, they, uh... They gave me such horrible choices. I had to refresh. No, we gave you such horrible choices. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but they, they choose, like, I thought it was going to be names or something. Okay. okay, this is a good joke. Okay, I got one bad joke and one good joke. Anyway. I'm actually going <laughs> off. You guys are fucked. <laughs> Move on, you get all the names, man? No, no, I, got, I got none names. Not the hell. He's going Dunham mode. I am. Oh, I'm, I'm going Jeffrey filled. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ghibli, just in time. Line, but barge, Whoa. Why did he make that like hand this? motion? Why is he doing that? No. Is it, he's, <laughs> he's driving. He's driving. <laughs> is he? I don't know. Oh, you you're driving that thing right? Fucked, yeah. Man. Here we go. Remember to save your catchphrase. <laughs> You ever notice how clowns are just a fancy version of Twitch streamers? <laughs> hey, no. dude, you you should be on the news, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my next job is gonna be on the daily. I'm so dumb. I thought viral videos were clips of people coughing. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Okay, okay. I want to open a store that only sells poopies. <laughs> and call it poopies. Why is it always Ryan who goes up against me? 
<laughs> it's just to make any sense. It's always Ryan. I'm just like, I had to hit reset on my choices because it was like, I thought blank. And then it was like shitties and like <laughs> fannies and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fannies was when I said. <laughs> oh. oh. Hey. Oh, no. you, you overcame. Yes, you overcame. Yes. yes. Gave the weed number. 420. 420. Our next comic needs oh. an introduction. I'm sorry. I have more parents. <laughs> Oh no. An orphan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Oh, He's going uh, Anthony oh. Jeselnik mode. <laughs> I call my bedroom the fire station because it's where I spray the hose. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You could have used either oh, hose there, too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, you oh, know, you got 69. We're covering all the good numbers. <laughs> Dude, this is the best joke I've ever made. It's the best joke I've ever made! That's a tall order, man. It's the greatest joke of all time! It's the I new just... No Soap Radio! No, you don't understand how good it is! I'm so excited for you to experience this. This is a beautiful moment. I know something that nobody knows right now. It feels incredible. They gotta get me working for Laffy Taffy, man. I don't understand. I feel like I should just go. I should just go let my puppy out. Wait, Wait I gotta go up against Rob. Oh, good. Well this done, I man. I don't want to finesse it. This is not the one though. This is not the platonic idea. You're still gonna probably destroy mine. I like my sex like I like my tuna salad. Ugh. Purchased at the gas station and finished in my car. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Jesus damn. Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So here we go. Is this it? This is it. A group of dictators walk into a bar <laughs> and order everyone around. <laughs> wow. They both make you think. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's real good. That's a double pun. I know when it came out, I was like, order everyone, order everyone a drink, order everyone. It, it came together so generatively. It is extremely good. All right, it's going off. The worst part is the other joke I had was not my worst joke. My doctor said I have a bad case of the public buses. Because you can ride me all day for four dollars and seventy-five cents. This is the same as Your the gas station joke. <laughs> <laughs> Your that sounds like a prick. That sounds like a good case. Vote for your favorite punchline. Also, the buses don't run all day. In the gas station joke, I was buying a prostitute. In this one, I am <laughs> you a, are prostitute. a prostitute. There are two different <laughs> okay. jokes, okay? <laughs> Listen, he's just he's just pop pro sex work. Yeah. Sex work ahead? I sure hope it does. <laughs> <laughs> he's back, he's back. I'm so back. <laughs> Middle school for me was like Justin. I'm Justin. <laughs> <laughs> They're both the same answer. <laughs> oh, how do you beat that man? Who? Oh, it's fucking funny. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh. Wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, it still should have been more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's worth saving when the ship capsizes? No, maybe jump, maybe out. joke butt is good. <laughs> I think it might be one of the best games they've ever made, yeah. honestly. <laughs> as long as people can find joy out of uh, me failing to make even remotely funny joke, then that's oh. maybe that's something. What a... 
What a game. What a game. Good gaming. Good gaming, lads. Good gaming. Yeah, good gaming. Good gaming. Yeah, damn pleasure. Play Jackbox, guys! <laughs> oh my god. Ghibli! Quicksword, quicksword, quicksword! Ghibli, a dictator, a, a group of dictators walked into a bar. They ordered everyone around. <laughs> I got him good. If you can make the guy who made a hundred people laugh, then you made a hundred people laugh. Let me see if my wife is going to stream today. She is streaming! Let's go! I'll send you over there. Enjoy your um, evening. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday already. Holy frick. I'll see you then. Later. Are you saying you're his father? No, I'm saying I may not be your father, boy. But I was your daddy. I, I did witness car accident literally happening in front of me. It was very scary. This was... Second car accident that I witnessed in Vancouver. At least that's like, I, at least that's in, in my memory. But like the car, it was a truck. Like it was like a, not a pickup truck, but like truck truck, you know, like, like boxy truck. And then it was a red car that was small, small red car. And I think the red car was not paying attention at all. And it basically drove right into the truck. And because the truck is big and the red car is small, it almost kind of like, it almost looked like it went under the truck. Right? And then, like, it didn't make, you know how whenever there's like a car crash, it makes like a crazy sound, like boom, like that or something. But this time, it only made like, like scratching sound and I was like whoa sounded like somebody hit the car and then I looked and then the car like that was like in front of me basically hit the truck that was in front of it and then I was like holy shit and then the truck driver got out of the seat came out checked on the driver and the driver he had like a cyberpunk sunglasses on and then, like, he looked fine. There was nothing wrong with him. But, I mean, the truck basically not even damaged. From what I can see, the truck was, like, pristine. And then the car that was in the back that hit the truck was, like... It wasn't, like, the, the hood of the car wasn't wrinkled. But it was scratched to the maximum. And, and Luna was in the back seat. And she's like, oh my gosh, is that okay? And I'm like... I think they're okay and then she's like why why did they make the car accident and then I'm like that's a great question I don't really know and then she said well that's okay I'm gonna ask daddy and I said well I don't think daddy knows why they made the car accident but I think it's because they weren't paying attention and then she's like oh and I was like yeah <laughs> and that was the end man moon did it so like I got a pull up, like the pull up diapers. And then um, it's my little pony design. So she asked, like, I know the rainbow one. It's lightning or, or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know my little pony. I have never seen it. But like the rainbow is called. Oh, Dash? Dash. That's right. Rainbow Dash. And then she said, I don't know any other one's name. And I said, do you want to watch uh, My Little Pony to learn the names? And she's like, sure. And then now her new thing is that whenever she thinks it's too scary, she says, I'm tired. I'm too tired to watch this. I'm tired. And then I started the My Little Pony. And I guess like it was showing the Nightmare Moon and Nightmare Moon like turning evil and, and all that. And that scared her. And then she was like, I'm tired. I'm, I'm too tired to watch this. I'm too tired. And so, uh, I'm like, do, you don't want to watch it? And she's like, no. So I stopped it. Ryan told me, like, I don't know, maybe a week ago, there was, like, Disney fan, fan gangs or whatever. Like, they... 
they were arguing about like if the Disneyland was better or Disney World was better. I don't know. And then like they start like fist fighting in front of Disney World or something like that. And up here it was crazy. And I was like, what? I don't understand. And it's like, Ryan's like, yeah, the Disney hardcore fans are crazy. I'm like, I heard that before. But like, why are they fist fighting, dude? I only start fist fighting over pasta plates and how many forks people have in their homes. You know, like that conversation. You watch them and you... Watanabe, did you make that onto the library of Laterno? About the plate Sega? The saga of plates? Oh my god. You know, it has it has etched onto my brain. I don't even know how to describe it. Whenever I see plates, I don't really get to see plates. How I like before I've seen plates. They were like, oh, nice design. This plates are like nice for this food. You know, like maybe I'll buy this plate for that like specific food. You know, like I look plates as is. But now when I see plates, it's like ruined. I see, I see, it's like in my head, the plate saga just gets like played in my head. And then just like a bunch of chat arguing like, holy shit, you have three plates. Holy shit, you have 300 plates. Holy shit, you have plates for rice. Holy shit, you have more than like two bowls. Holy shit, you have more than a one plastic spoon. Holy shit, what do you mean you have a 500 glasses? And then it's just like... It's like, I don't even know. It really do be crazy. Like, I don't really get to see the plates plates anymore. It's like, all I see is the, the my chat fighting. And like, I was so stunned. Like, I like, I think I've seen the comment section in the Library of Laterno video. Saying like, I don't know, like, it's not like word to word correctly. But someone was like, I'm from Romania. Or something like that. And like, uh, like my family and my friends' family, they're not rich at all. Especially compared to like North American standard. But like, we have definitely more than three plates. Like, having less or more plates doesn't mean you're poor or rich. Like, this, this conversation is crazy. It's outrageous. Like, my Romanian family is super poor. But we at least have like hundred dishes like i don't know what you guys talking about <laughs> i was like holy shit holy shit i'm like i was monka ass dude i like how uh watanabe was saying what do you mean pasta plates that is like the dumbest thing ever literally an hour later on our subby discord he takes a photo of plate and goes wait is this a pasta plate and then everyone goes um yeah that's past a plate, buddy. And then Watanabe goes, um, whoops. <laughs> this and the whole time before he posted the picture that he owns one, he goes like, "That's so stupid. What do you mean? Why do you need a, a separate dish for the pasta? Just uh, put it in the bowl. This is so stupid." And like he was blasting. He was blasting. It do be your own. The, the family who actually owns the pasta plates blasting for owning pasta plates. I have so many spoons, forks, and plates. I, I mean, I own spoons, forks, plates, knives, chopsticks, teaspoons. I don't know. I never feel so self-conscious to share what I have in my kitchen. I remember, and then someone said, Holy shit, where do you keep all those plates and cutleries? That's so much. And I said, um, I don't know. But I think it's called a room called kitchen. And then the people are like, lol, so true. I don't even know what we're talking about. It's Cree, Cree brought it up. You freaking mother Cree, you. You opening up the can of worms. It's alright, that is just... We, we, we're over that, right? Watanabe, we, we made truce. We're good. I, 
I forgot to share this with you guys, but um, Project Mirai is the Holo Live concert, or I guess like hologram concert, not to confuse with the Holo Live. Um, and it was ten year anniversary, like the concert was ten year anniversary, and I bought the super limited, um, art in a frame. It's pretty big. It's pretty big, super duper limited. You know how it's limited stuff? Like it has like number on the thingy. Like this is like number, blah blah of like this. Um, my my number is sixty five. I got I got number sixty five art of uh, Project Mirai Hatsune Miku concert, tenth year anniversary. And that art was expensive to say the least, but I felt I felt like so complete. Let me see if I can um, find the art for you guys, and then you can be like, "Oh my gosh, okay, you're a true fan," and I'm like, "I know, right? You dropped three hundred dollars. Okay, it wasn't three hundred dollars. Like now, that's crazy. I would not drop three hundred dollar on a figurine. Well, I guess it depends on how big it is." I'm making you feel better. Oh, thank you. I guess. Holy shit! Wait, you Watanabe, can you make me feel better by saying something? You bought something more expensive, because I just forgot the price, and then I just realized by clicking the art, and I realized how much more expensive than it was. Say something like you you did something worse. Quick, say you you did something worse. This is the art I bought. Primo Art Hatsune Miku Magical Mirai 10th Anniversary 338,500 Japanese Yen It's about 275 USD And I have it Right next to me It is very pretty When I saw it I was like this is mine I spent $400 on a magic card once all right, thank you, Chet. Thank you, thank you for making me feel better. Can you sing some genuine? Oh, you mean the burp song? Burp, 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 burp. I'm just a bachelor looking for a partner, someone who knows how to ride without trying to fall in love. Got to be compatible. Push it to the limit. Be sure when I break it off, she's not gonna wanna get up. You're horny, let's do it. Riding on my pony, my saddles waiting. Come and jump on it. Like that, like that genuine song.